LA United Fan TV, 1-1 draw, third match of the preseason against IF Ellsborg. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, PT with a goal, and other than that, I mean, it's, you know, it could have been more interesting, but it was a decent showing. Yeah, decent overall, I think. I mean, it's still it's still fairly early in preseason. They've only been at it for a couple weeks now, right? You know what I mean? And then, um, yeah, it's been a long week for the, for the guys, and I think, too, because, like, the, the other matches were three 30-minute sessions, this was, like, a proper, you know, a real halftime and all that. And they, uh, Ellsworth, yeah, they had a little bite to it. They <laughs> they took it seriously. We were wondering if uh, maybe some of the Atlanta coaches told them to, like, I don't know, foul, foul Bunker or, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was uh, in a lot of ways, it reflected, I think, a proper match, which was good. You know, they, yeah, they need to be, um, the guys need, to, need the conditioning. They need to be run at. You know what I mean? They need to be put on the back heels, I think, um, put in those situations. And they were at times, but I think also, for the most part, they controlled play. At least up until, uh, you know, like around the 80th minute, you had all those subs. But leading up to that, when you had a normal lineup, I think, uh, yeah, they mostly controlled the game. Um, PD's goal was sweet, you know what I mean? Like, just the composure and then, like, place it. Like, last year, he did a lot of blasting the ball. And to see him place it with his weaker foot, like, I think that's a really good sign. That's a sign of a confident player, I think. Um, yeah, Barco, like I mentioned before. Uh, man, it's uh, that's that's just who he is, man. I, I, I appreciate him, like, constantly getting on the ball, you know, getting fouled, getting back up and going at it. We need that. Yeah, time, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think every team needs that kind of player. And I've always commended Barco. I know at times, like, people accuse him going down easy. But truthfully, he just gets fouled a lot, you know. And you saw it again. Even this uh, Swedish team, European team. Yeah, yeah. They, they they come in, they foul Barco, you know. So we can expect to see that uh, again this season. But I think I think he understands the deal now. And I think he understands his role in the team a little bit better, I think. So... Uh yeah, they were they stood out to me. I think uh, I liked I liked the combinations I was seeing from Heinemann. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's his strength. He's a pass and move player, and I think the way he moved through the lines was encouraging. And then would uh you know spray it out wide. Um yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on the, with the wing back play. Mm -hmm. You know, with uh, we saw Castillo with a nice ball. We had Brooks Lennon with some nice moments as well. He had one particular cross that. It looked like it would have been like a regular informed Joseph. Right. Absolutely scores mm -hmm. that. So. Um, but that's encouraging, though, you know, that we have, like, a ready replacement at right wing back. I mean, like, we, we we have Escobar anyway, but then, like, Brooks Lennon as well, I think, adds more dynamism, it looks like, anyway. So, um, some encouraging things overall. Yeah, and it's uh, it's interesting, the shape. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, we're really maybe persisting with that 3-5-2. Right. And, you know, uh, in terms of actually having, like, right midfielders or, you know, uh, just wingers in general, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like we're going that way. And so it is wing backs, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Right. Yeah. I uh that's one of the things I've been most curious about is what, you know, I think we're gonna see a mix of formations, but I thought we might see more of the four in the back. Yeah, today we pretty much exclusively saw that three five two. I think part of it is um the midfielders because like, yeah, Hyman, Rometty, I think are your starting caliber midfielders. Mm -hmm. And after that, there's a little bit of a drop-off, you know. So I don't know if, like, <laughs> like on the one hand, Carlos says that he's fine with the midfielders that we have. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'd like one more, one more starting caliber. Um, and then I do wonder if we, like, bring another midfielder, would De Boer then roll out all three, you know, then do a, sh a, a shape change, you know. Sure. Yeah. You know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting as well. But I mean, it's still looking effective. It's... If it is that uh, once again that that's our most effective formation this season, then so be it. Yeah. So speaking of midfielders and ones maybe that were rumored to go with, uh, which one would you choose, Viasanti or Rosetto? I. Uh, it seems like Rosetto is the bigger talent. I mean, like I'll you know full disclosure, I don't, I don't know them necessarily, but it does seem like. They, on the spot. Sorry. No. Nah, yeah. You always do this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, based on like the value and what's been written about them, it seems like Rosetto would be the better get. It seems like he's also a little more attacking though, and so I would like. Yeah, a, a midfield that's like strong on the ball in particular. Mm -hmm. You know, um, maybe like uh, like a Lorenowitz type, but mm -hmm. obviously. Younger, a little more mobile, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's possible, Porco Nolos does, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you.